To help you improve your casting quality, to eliminate the need to scrap and remelt castings, to reduce resources lost to unnecessary downtime, and to significantly lower your cost per casting, DISA introduces the MAC. The MAC is a high-precision measuring device located between the molding machine and the pouring unit. It records real-time dimensional data from the molds that are produced. Its complex software then processes and calculates data to obtain incredibly accurate measurements of the mold string. The data is evaluated automatically. If any measurements are outside the selected tolerance range, the system warns the user with an alarm. By reacting quickly when molds are identified as out of tolerance, scrap and rework can be greatly reduced. Additionally, the system can also prevent the pouring unit from pouring molds if mold gaps are detected, which means downtime for cleaning the cooling line is completely avoided. So how does it work? The laser bracket is installed on the automatic mold conveyor. The bracket includes six high-resolution non-contact distance sensors that use laser technology. The mold string is pushed through this six-laser grid during mold transportation. To create markers for measuring on the outside of the mold, all four corners of both pattern plates are equipped with special MAC blocks. These blocks are precisely positioned based in relation to the casting cavities. The MAC blocks add mold impressions to the mold, which are directly linked to the hidden casting cavities visible from the outside when the molds are closed. The sensors scan the outer visible surfaces and impressions in each corner of the mold as the mold string passes through the laser grid. The recorded data is processed and calculated in real time to obtain the following measuring parameters, also known as MAC data. Mismatch. This is the misalignment between cavities after close-up. Step. Step is the misalignment between molds after close-up. Gap. This is identified as the distance between two adjacent molds. Parallelism. Parallelism is the alignment between PP and SP parting surfaces. The MAC can tell the pouring unit not to pour a specific mold if a mold gap is detected. This function saves iron cleaning time on the transport line and helps to greatly reduce downtime. A light indicator is located on the top of the MAC bracket. This light alerts the operator when action is required. Green indicates that all measuring parameters are inside the tolerance range and no action is needed. Yellow indicates that the mold measured is out of tolerance. Red indicates that the last 10 molds measured were all on average out of tolerance, at which point the operator should take action to correct the problem. The light will also indicate if a sensor is broken or it is not receiving correct readings. The operator interface is known as the VDU, or Visual Display Unit. The lights on the laser bracket are linked directly to the VDU, which includes a monitoring and diagnostic view that can be used to monitor real-time data and diagnose any service errors. There are several different ways to view data on the VDU. The monitoring view gives the operator a real-time data view. The dashboard summarizes average values for each measuring parameter. The value flashes red to indicate that it is out of tolerance. The exceeded tolerance is highlighted as well. Any system errors will be displayed and highlighted in the status bar. The table views show data from the last 10 molds measured by the MAC. Values for each out of tolerance mold are highlighted in yellow. Like the dashboard, if the average value of these 10 molds is out of tolerance, the value in the first column is highlighted in red. The graph views show data from the last 30 minutes of production. This view is helpful to determine peaks or trends in the data. The operator can monitor real-time data and adjust the machine and parameters accordingly. The diagnostic view can be used to troubleshoot the system. It shows a list of active alarms and readings from each laser sensor. The DISA Foundry Cockpit, also known as DFC, is pure foundry intelligence. It's a web-based platform that creates manufacturing intelligence by collecting, correlating, analyzing, monitoring, and exchanging data in real time. It enables you to normalize data from many processes in your foundry, unlocking new potential for improvement.
select the required time range and monitor both real-time and historical data. The MAC data is easily analyzed and compared with other data to find a connection. The MAC data is also easily exported to a report with the flexible reporting tool. Quality staff can then compare the MAC report with the quality check report. The DESA Mold Accuracy Controller adds a new dimension to casting precision. By warning operators when molds are out of tolerance and preventing pouring molds with gaps, the MAC saves time and money by minimizing scrap, rework, remelting, and downtime. It also allows you to explore and expand your knowledge about your molding machine and your sand preparation process, supply castings with tighter tolerance requirements, and improve your overall casting quality. To learn how you can bring the DESA Mold Accuracy Controller to your operation, contact Norican today.